everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really beautiful Christmas mini album. So I have absolutely loved making this and it is just so heavy now, it's got a real weight to it. Um, but yeah, there's something about a mini album when you hold one and it's all done, it's just, it's lovely. So this one is using these lovely papers by Echo Park. Now these are last year's Christmas collection but I will, yeah, 2017. I got given these as a gift, so I will try and source out, and I may even well speak to Louise at Thompson's Craft Supplies and see if she does have any of these left. And if she does, then I will um, put a little notice or something on my page on Facebook if there's anybody interested and you'd like to get these if you live in the UK, because she uh, ships to the UK only. So um, these are the papers, they are gorgeous. You get this big sticker sheet and you get all these kind of cut out I show you here as well. Look at all these lovely images, really, really nice and really fun. And I've used so many of them throughout this. So the whole um, album was done with this here. Okay, so it's just 12 sheets of 12 by 12 double sided papers and then a 12 by 12 um, elements stickers. So if I just bring this up here, you can see the front, and I've used some of my real looking real life leaves. These are little bells. You can just hear it there. And then these are some puffy stickers from American Crafts that I've added onto there as well. This bow is um, a lovely piece of fabric kind of ribbon that I've had, which says Noel all on it. And I've had it for ages. I brought this in Totnes in a little independent craft shop. And I'm so glad I, so glad I did. And I've saved it till now because it works so lovely with this album. So I um, once I was doing it, I realised I needed to change these. I'm going to make these gold. I'm going to buy some gold um, binder rings. And these metal corners here, I'm also going to put on the back page as well. But for now, it's perfect. It works well. So I'm just going to give you a quick run through of the pages, and then we can get into the tutorial. So you've got only three styles of pages. One is this pocket with a photo mat. You can put two photo mats in here if you want and each of these hold a 6x4 photo. It's a 6x4 album so um, I thought they're the most common photos used um, so that's what I'm going to do. I've got these little journaling sections here so I'm going to write a little kind of just a little you know piece about whatever photos go here and it's just a nice little memory to keep there and they're just kind of in between every few pages. Then I've got this flap page, so this fits a 4x4 picture and then each of these sides fit another 6x4. So it's one, two, three pictures you can fit here. And then I kept this piece spare to either add some more of maybe these bits here that I've got once I have my pictures because they match the collection or some more journaling, just talking about the picture in that moment. Then the other style, sorry four styles I guess, then I've just got plain. So this would just fit a 6x4 photo straight on there. But again, you could add more pockets, you could add other styles of pages, it's entirely up to you. Here's the pocket one again, with another photo mat. And again, you can see all those beautiful papers. If I just bring that up, look at that lovely little scene that I've created there. And then, yeah, the tuck spot style. So this one here. So I've created these little tuck spots, again, with a photo mat. You can put two photo mats in here, so this could potentially hold four 6x4 four pictures just in this page. It's very easy to adapt this album for whatever needs you want, but it is primarily meant for 6x4 pictures, but you could certainly fill it with 4x4s and things like that. And, yeah, that's how it just then goes. So there's another flap page all these blank ones, see the papers just all work perfectly. Another pocket one there with the photo mat. This one I really like, this little tuck spot. So I've just put the tree and I've just stuck it at the very bottom there. And then this photo mat just pops in there and that could easily fit two photo mats in this style of tuck spot. So just give you other ideas of how you can obviously use them. Another little journal card, another flap there. Love this one with the big Noel. These were all those stickers in the pack, in the kit, and I've just mounted them on craft card and then fussy cut them. Again, another plain photo mat there. Love that pat, uh, print there. This one, another little tuck spot. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Coming to the end now. There's 10 pages, 20 sides, so it feels loads. Still got to do that one, I forgot to do that one. And then the very back page, I've even used that again for another pocket. And you could certainly again put more than the one in there. But if I just bring that up again, look at that, it's just so pretty. 
so yeah it's it's been a labor of love I've absolutely enjoyed this it's very easy to do and it doesn't matter if you don't have eyelets you can just obviously keep it without them and even if you don't have these um, rings you could just put ribbon through and hold the whole thing together with ribbon all right so many many ways to adapt this to suit your needs but I hope you like it and let's get into the tutorial and make it Okay, so first of all, you're going to need to just prepare your pages and your front and back cover. Now, I, I don't know how many pages I'm going to want for this, and the good thing is, is you can just add, you know, as many as you want as you go, because it's going to be on those ring um, binders, it doesn't matter. So at the moment, I've cut 10 pieces of 5 by 9, no, sorry, 5 by 8 and a quarter. So it's the width of A4 cardstock and then you'll get two pieces out of each um, sheet of cardstock. So I've got a six by four by six photo here and basically it will have room to go on here with a mat, room for the ring pulls and then to do some decoration. I wanna stick some stickers, ephemeras, maybe do a tiny little bit of journaling there as well. And also we're gonna have some interactive pages as well with some flip um, sections and some little photo mats and stuff like that. So. I just thought it was a nice size, if you kind of think, if you keep it off to the right, give yourself half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, and this section here you'll have your ring pulls, and you know, you just got room to do a little bit of decoration, but my focus was to make this purely for six, four by six photos. Okay, so then for your front and your back, I've got some really strong um, chipboard that I've made up here. So this is now, I'd say it's, yeah, it's just over one mil, and it's just the backs of my paper packs. I've just put them back to back, or front to front, so that the backs are on show. So I've just got the plain white and not the print, just in case any paper you were using was maybe a little bit thinner and it might have been a bit see-through. If you, you know, fold them in on themselves, stick them, you know, face up, then, uh, yeah you don't see that. So these pieces here are five and a half by nine. Okay, so you've just got a nice, if I just bring this in, because again, if you imagine you're gonna have the ring pulls about there and it sits in the middle. Okay, so like I said, they're gonna come in. Let me grab the ones that I'm gonna be using. So I plan on using these larger binder rings and these are the two inch ones. So if you imagine, that it's going to be about there, like so. That's where it's going to kind of go through. And we're going to reinforce all this. I'm going to put eyelets on it. It's going to be a super strong, really lovely little album. But it means that we've got this whole thickness to you know fill our pages and we can have quite a lot of bulk in this album so um, yeah it's going to be good fun so you will need two pieces of that for your front and your back and then like I said I've cut ten but you may want less you may have more it's entirely up to you and then to decorate you're going to need two pieces I need to decide what piece I want for the back but this is to wrap around our front and our back covers so this is a piece of ten and a half by uh, yeah, it's just under seven and a half and basically we're going to start sticking this that's the back side but this is going to around and create a really nice cover okay so I've just covered this with a strong double-sided tape this is my scotch tape that I like to use and I'm just using my bone folder as I always do just to go over and just make sure that there's no air bubbles you can use a wet glue over the, all of it if you want but I like to use some of my strong double sided tape and a little bit of my wet glue just to give it wiggle room but I've covered the whole thing so I've made sure that they line right up perfectly just in case again you've got a thinner paper to cover some double sided tapes can be a little bit thick and you'll actually see them, so you don't want that. So if you keep them really close together, then that will stop that from happening. So grab my poke tool. So I'm just gonna pull off all the backing. Okay, I've gone ahead and put wet glue over the top. And then you just wanna sit this, making sure it's in the middle and you've got an even border. Should have about an inch, maybe just under on the left and the right hand side there. But my paper, I just stick that down, flip it over quickly is this kind of pattern so it doesn't matter if you've gone a bit crooked for example obviously if you're using something that's striped so maybe this side you need to make sure obviously you're getting it nice and even so flip it over and just go over and just spread out any glue and make sure all that tape and everything is all stuck down okay and then if you just go around each side 
and just fold it. Now we're going to be covering over this as well so what you want to do is just I'm going to pop some of my double sided tape along the four edges here and again I've just put some wet glue there and then I also just like to always run a bead of glue actually right in the kind of um, the sides there of the chipboard because we've got that kind of one two mil height to it you want the card or your, you know your paper that you're wrapping around to stick to the side of that as well okay and then I like to do mine because I'm going to be putting my corner protectors on this so I like to bring in my corners and then actually I just thought I need to put a bit of glue on here and here so it sticks to that as well so I just bring it over so that you get a perfect square on your chipboard and if you get your bone folder and work it in just bring this up so you can see so there you go you can just see I've really pushed it against that chipboard so you can see the outline of it underneath so you get a perfect square here okay so again go down to the next one pop some glue kind of to the left and the right of that cornered square and then bring that over doesn't matter if it's not an exact square in the middle but it just keeps it all nice and lined up if it is and then just work in that glue and I've always done my albums like this I know lots of people do it the other way and they cut but you don't have to cut anything here and even if you don't want to use the um, corner protectors this is still a nice way to do it and then that's all going to come up. Okay, so there's my two. So I'm just going to do the same on the other ones. Okay, and then I've already got glue on here. Let's pop a bit more, but I'm just going to pop some on those triangles that we folded over because obviously that won't have any glue on. Like so. And then just bring over all your sides. So I'm just going to just tack them all and then I can go back around and work them all in better. Okay, and then just go around, spend some time, make sure you're squeezing all that glue and you're getting really nice edges there to your cover. Okay, so there is my front and my back and they're really nice, really strong. So now we need to just cover the insides. So I've just cut myself two pieces of this nice red. You can see there it's going to cover that back perfectly. And this measures five and a quarter by eight and a half and you basically want to stick that onto the backs of both your front and your back cover so they're like so okay so they're both done really solid now they're so nice I love these so next we need to decide where we're going to start punching our holes so you want to get your card whatever you're using I've got my craft card for my pages and just line a page line lie a page down so you get a nice even border there. You can see I've got that red that I'm using here, nice and even, okay? And then you wanna come in, this is entirely up to you, but you wanna come in, I'm gonna come in about half an inch. Now I'm using my screw punch because I'm gonna be punching through obviously thick layers. If you've got a hand punch and you know it go through, then fine. I know the um, crocodile will go through this with no problems. Um, otherwise, if you don't have any, then you can use a pokey tool, something like this and just poke through enough and then use your eyelet punch if you're going to use that. If you're not even going to use that, then you can kind of decorate your holes if you have just kind of poked them. Um, you can decorate them with little circles over the top. But again, I'll show you that kind of stuff when we get to it. So I've got my largest, largest one in there. And let's do some pencil markings first of all before I get right into this so it's five inches so I'm just marking at two and a half just in the middle there and then I think I'm going to come up about an inch from the middle and do each of my no a bit more actually I think I'm going to do yeah an inch and a quarter from the middle okay so inch and a quarter so an inch and a quarter and then come in um, I think three-eighths of an inch will be fine. I've got all these marks on it now. 
to rub it all out, three eighths, so there's that one there. Okay, so ignore that cross. Okay, so there you can see I marked the middle, which is two and a half, because this is five inches, and then from that two and a half centre, I came out one and a quarter, and again, one and a quarter, and you can just see the pencil marks I've done there. So then, I'm going to hole punch this first, like so, and then pop it back over here, make sure it's all nice and even. Sorry if it's gone a bit loud, but we've got a massive rainstorm. Just come in, and then I'm just drawing a circle inside those circles, so that now you can see where to mark on this. Okay, and then I'm going to have to pump this a few times. There we go, perfect. And again, the other one. Done. And then, yeah, and just see, I'll bring up. There you go, see them both. So now, with that piece, grab your back. Obviously, making sure your card is all the facing the right way. You don't want to do it like upside down on that side. So, I'm putting them both on top of each other, facing. No, I'm telling you, I'm doing it the wrong way, aren't I? It's got to be like that. So there you go, over the top, and then I can just again draw right through, and then just do the same. Okay, so again, there's those. You can just make them out one there and one there. So now they will marry up. Perfectly, and then with that page one that we've done, you basically want to use that as your guide for all your other pieces. So, first of all, I'm just going to go on each one, make sure they're all nice and lined up, and just trace each one like so. Okay, so they are all done. You can see they all line up. I can see my hand underneath, and that's what you want. And then obviously, that's all going to sit on there, and that is all going to sit on top like so okay now I want to decorate um, sorry now I want to protect all of my holes so I've got all I'm using gold because I'm also going to be using these corner protectors so I'm going to have two there and then two on the back and I think I'm going to buy some more so that I can have so they'll be on the back piece there because I think I want them on all four, so I don't know whether to just do all four on the front and then just do the back, because obviously I can take it apart whenever, but I think it looks nice on all four pieces there. And ideally, I'm just thinking now, it would be quite nice to get these in gold, but I can replace that, so that's not a problem. I'm not worried about that now. So basically, we'll do that later. But I'm just getting my eyelets or grommets and just push them through and this by doing all this it will mean your album will last forever you know it's not going to have or where the pressure spots are all protected with this metal hardware so you can see that I've just pushed them through they just come through that side there and then I've just got my pliers these are really old pliers but they're a little bit more they've got more of they go in deeper so I can just get them around that little bit more than the actual newer ones okay so that's the front done I'm going to do the back and then I'm also going to do all of my pages Okay, I just put it all together just to see how it looked and it's so good. I am so pleased with this. Really is lovely and it's just gonna, yeah, once it's got, I'm gonna put some nice ribbons through this because I've got the way I'm gonna decorate it. You're gonna have the ribbon kind of working its way all the way around. We're gonna have stuff all over here and it's just gonna look fab. So now I just wanna put these on. So I'm just gonna take this back off again, take the front off. Um, I'm just going to put all four on the front and then once I order the rest then I can put them on the back as well. So pop it on, flip it over and then I like to use just an old rag or some tissue and just lightly and just bring that up. You can see there how nice that looks. So yeah, I'm just going to go and do that on all four corners. Okay, there it is. Again with the gold eyelets, that just looks so lovely, so professional. But yeah, I definitely need to change my binder um, rings because the silver, I just, yeah, I don't like it. But like I said, it's not affecting me doing this and 
it doesn't look terrible but yeah I just want it all gold so I will replace that or even I might see if I can get red ones that would look really nice as well so now the fun part of decorating the front and all of our pages okay so I started to gather bits together and on the one of the 12 by 12 sheets of that paper pack it is just it is gorgeous I know I've already said how much it, I love it but yeah are these ones here so these are these lovely little cutouts so I've cut out the merry and bright which was down here and then I've just um, popped it on some red cardstock which is the same red cardstock that I used to line inside here so I'm trying to keep that same red will be I think kind of a matte layer that I'll use a lot throughout the fold um, the album because it does go perfectly with the the red that's throughout this paper pack so I've used that and then I have had this for ages <laughs> such a long time and it's this beautiful I mean it's I guess it is a ribbon it's just a really nice thick roll of fabric it's a canvas it's very very thick it's actually a linen yeah it's a really thick linen which I guess is a canvas so it's what's used and it's got no L. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it stuck on the front under here. This is going to go over the top so the no L comes out here, probably two no Ls so that'll be enough to tie it up and then behind all of this I'm going to put this foliage leaves just to kind of bring out the fact that they are here as well. I just want this to become really textured, quite fun to look at. I'm going to pop some down there. I don't want too many but just just enough, just kind of yeah a few up there and a few in that corner and then it's going to be all raised on this foam. Now these ones here are really thick. These measure, because they're thicker than my normal um, adhesive and these are um, foam adhesives and these are from I want to say Hobby Craft I'm pretty sure they were and they are uh, one two three four nearly four mil so they're really thick now that's going to give me the height so that this can still stick but these can obviously go underneath as well this is going to be stuck directly onto that with some hot glue so that will be attached anyway I'm not too worried about that um, but I'm going to have a lot going on so I'm going to crack on and get that all done and then I'll show you when I'm finished. Okay so there is my cover, I love this, it's just so pretty and I've got little bells there that are like the berries, you can just hear them jingle. Put some real looking leaves there so it just kind of complements the lovely images there and then I've got that half of ribbon so I've got the three no owls there. I'm going to do the same on the back but I don't know what I'm doing yet so at the minute I've just got that one half but it's really secure, it's really strong, it's not going anywhere. I might put some Winker Stella over the Merry and Bright as well just to add some sparkle to the front but now we want to start doing the pages so I'm going to do a lot of duplicate pages and um, I will go through each of those styles. If you want to go ahead and just mat all of your pages and just put your 4x6 photos on top and just have one photo on each of these which will give you 20 pages if you're sticking to the 10 pages 20 which will give you 20 photos if you're just sticking to the 10 pages. So this piece here you can see that it sits perfectly and it gives you a nice kind of balanced spine there so I've done the same gap that you've got from the, the eyelet to the edge from the um, eyelet into here. So things like that just help keep it all balanced and a bit more finished okay. Now this piece here measures yeah, four, uh, yeah, four and three quarters by seven and a quarter. So it's entirely up to you how you want to decorate this album but that I would say is a good size mat. So this one's going to go down here on my first page and then what I've done is I've got this one here and this is going to go on top again with a nice frame of that pattern paper like so and then you can see there so when it sits over the top it's got a nice frame and then this is going to have a photo on it so this will fit a six by four photo so I made sure that this one is yep yeah, four and a half so you've got you can do a four and a quarter by six by five and three quarter layer on top which I'll probably do and then the photo so it's got a nice frame um, yeah by seven so there's there's plenty of room there to decorate and so on and then basically that will stick and open and you can have another photo here and then a four by four photo here and then some journaling space or pop some stickers and bits and pieces like that I will share it when it's filled with photos just so you can kind of get more inspiration there as well but that's what I'm going to do for the first page and I'm going to duplicate this on probably 
maybe four pages have this same layout. Okay, so if you just want to carry on and kind of prepare those ones. Okay, so I've been busy getting lots of stuff done because the rest is very easy to talk you through. So I have popped the back one on. So if I just flip this over and you can see there, I've just put this one, which is Santa Claus is coming to town and I've just attached it exactly the same way that I did the front that I showed you. Okay, so that's easy. So that's now all in place. Then I've started going through and in the pack, one of the papers, I'll just show you, you get all these kind of different, you know, cutouts. And there was one 12 by 12 sheet that had these size ones here. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've just put a little bit of the same craft card around the edge, hole punched at the same distance as these ones underneath. And I'm gonna use these for journaling so I can put a little, I can write something and then stick it on here. Just talking about, you know, that particular picture and, you know, just kind of capture any kind of fun memories that may have happened. I can just write them down. So these are little journaling pieces that kind of flap in the middle. So I had showed you this piece here and um, I will show you how many of them I ended up using and talk you through the mats. Now what I've started doing is these pockets. So I'm going to show you a pocket in a minute and then I've just done tuck, tuck spots and then these photo mats. So you can put a six by four photo so that's two pictures that will go even on the front cover here. And I've just, you can see what I've done there, just done some die cuts and just kind of stuck it onto the front. So I'm going to show you how to do the pocket. I'm going to talk you through these mats and layers for these ones which I showed you. And then basically what I've done is I'm calling this the flap. So this is flap, this is pocket, and then this is tuck spot here. And you can see there it just tucks in and again it's another photo map. They are the three layouts that I've done throughout this whole album. So what I will do is tell you how many flaps I've done. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four. Okay, so you would need four of those. On the other side of every page, I'm keeping it plain. I'm just gonna have a six by four photo stuck there. Now, if you wanted to, you could do the pockets on these pages as well. And then you, again, you get two photos on there and two photos on there. So you get, you know, four pictures, whereas I'm gonna get three, but that's fine, you know, and I can always change it if I want to. So the pockets are really nice. So the pockets I have done one, two, three, four, and then I've got one at the very back which I'm going to show you and that'll be five. Okay, so you'll need five of the pockets. Tuck spots are whatever you want to do. Basically they're just these little pieces that I die cut. So this was the sticker sheet that come with the kit. I stuck all the stickers on some craft card and then just fussy cut them. And then I've just made these little kind of tuck spots stuck it down on the corner, very similar to what I've done with my other mini albums with the tuck spots that I've done. But I like there that I've stuck the Santa and you've got the little bell there. And then once the photo's on top. Now I made sure that I kept the really colorful pattern paper on these kind of photo mats so that when whoever, you know, well myself, when I take it out and I look at the photos, I still get to appreciate this nice, beautiful paper. So any of my really patterned paper, um, sorry, simple paper. Again there I've made sure that I've got really nice papers again so I get to appreciate them. But where I've done the flat pages, so for example, maybe not so much that one because that's still nice. You still get to see some of it but I've kept them more plainer. There we go. You can see there on the back. Okay, so I've used that whole pack in this kit, um, in this mini album. So I'm really, really pleased with that. Okay, so let's go through and do the pocket. This one's a nice pocket as well. It's a little tuck spot and it's just the tree that I fussy cut and I've just stuck the very bottom of the tree there and then that picture back can just sit in there. I really like that one. Again, little journalings there. These are the other ones there that you can see. That's another nice one. And I've stuck all of these. You can see they're really 3D. Where I've put them on the foam um, adhesive there. And again, it's another photo mat. You could also put two of these in. So you'd have four pictures just in this one pocket. So, you know, you can put a lot of pictures in this album. But let's just finish this last piece off. There's that one there as well. Oh, and I need to do that. Not done that one. So I'm gonna do the pocket now for this. So 
and I'll talk you through the sizes you need for your photo mats. So for these ones here, it's entirely up to you again how many you want. So I'm going to put all the quantities and these measurements in my blog, but I'm just going to show you how to make them here. So this is a piece of six and a half by four and a half, and that's the craft card. Then the layer on top is four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And I've just done that on both sides. So those are your photo mats that will go in all of the areas that I showed you. Okay, so that one's going to be for this. And then I've already gone ahead and kind of started decorating that one so you can see what I've done there and that's going to lay it on top of that mat there and then this is the pocket. So this is the craft card and you're going to need a piece of eight by, um, what is that, three and a half, eight by three and a half and you want to score on three sides at half an inch. Okay, so you can see my score lines there. I'm just going to burnish those score lines and then you just want to cut wedges off. You can cut right across but you will kind of want to do them a bit more angled I guess, like so. Okay, that's what you're going to do. Now before I stick it down I'm going to stick these. So the mat to go on top is two and five eighths of an inch by six and five eighths. So that one's going to go on there. And then the layer again to go on top of that is two and three eighths of an inch by six and three eighths of an inch. So I'm just going to stick those two all on top of each other. Okay, and then I'm just going to run some of my red tape because it sticks obviously very well and it will stick well to this craft card. Just going to pop that on all of those three tabs. Okay, so this one's gone on the back page, but if you were putting it on a normal page, to so say I'll use this one as an example, you just want to obviously make sure that you line it up within that um, mat there. So bring it down to the bottom and you should have an equal, oh gosh I don't want to put it on there, Ah, I'll cover that with a photo, but you should have an equal about one quarter of an inch um, all the way around. Okay so this one's going to go down here, so just keep it equal from the sides and then that little photo mat can pop in there. There we go. How lovely does that look? So cute, really like this. And I just need to obviously decorate that. But you needed 20 of those big mats that I told you about earlier. But that is it. And I just, I adore it. It's, it's very easy to do. Um, it took me probably between having lunch, housework, <laughs> it took about five hours, I reckon, to do this album. And I just love this lovely big fabric bow there. And it's just going to look so nice in my basket. So there you have it. I can't wait to fill it all with photos. I hope you've enjoyed it. I just need to finish, change those rings and obviously put these on the, the back pages, the back uh, board here. Um, but yeah, there you have it. It's gorgeous. So I hope you've enjoyed this lovely little Christmas mini album tutorial. I'd love to see all your versions. Make sure you share them over on Mixed Up Crafters Facebook group. But until next time guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!